Dhammapada, Dhammapada was <coughs> It comes from Piyavagga. So, this uh, story, <coughs> this was Lord Buddha say at uh, Veduvanda Monastery. Buddha uttered this verse on the Veluvana Monastery with the reference of 500 boys. So, this verse is uh, regarding to uh, the Mahakasapa. So this is like a Sila Dasana Sampanna Dhamma Attang Satcha Vedinam Attano Kamma Kubbanam Tang Jano Purite Piyam. Sila Dasana Sampanna Dhamma Attang Satcha Vedinam Attano Kamma Kubbanam Tang Jano Purite Kurute Piyam. Yes. Like this. So. The person who is endowed with virtue and insight. Siladasana Sampannang means Siladasana Sampannang means the person who practicing virtue, Sila, and endowed with the insight. Dhamma Thang Satcha Vedina means the person who established the Dhamma in, in, in insight. Like a Dhammanu Dhamma Patipatiya. Like that. Establishing Dhamma in the heart. Then Attano Kamma Kupana. Who realize the truth and perform his own duties. Attano Kamma Kupana means performing own duties. Okay. Means performing own duties. Uh, not looking other other people. Then, tang jano kurute piyang. Such a being loved and liked by all men and women, all beings. So, this uh, Mahakashyapa. Mahakashapa is a, like a foremost ascetics in a Lord Buddha's time. And uh, a little bit story about him that his name was a Pippali at first. As a born, his name is a Pippali. And uh, so Pippali and uh, he is from a little bit rich family. And, uh, the parents then uh, uh, decide. It's a story about him when he was a child that uh, his parents decided to marry marry him. So, uh, take a marriage ceremony for them. Then uh, they create arranged marriage. And at that time, they think that uh, we should find the girl who is look like a statue. Some, some statues are very beautiful. Like that, we had to find the girl like a statue. And they found too that her name is Padda Kapilini. Padra Kapilini. Kapilani. Padra Kapilani. But both of them want to lead the celebrate life. Okay. So, Baddha Kapilini and Mahakasya not want to marry. They want to they want to lead a celibate life. And uh, they already decided that uh, they will not consummate their marriage. 
Oh. What happened that time they send the letter to each other? They send the letter and they say that I want to, I don't want to marry, I want to be legal celibate wife, then please you find another wife. So Marcus also send the same same letter. But their both parents found the letter and uh, tear it up and change the matter. Okay. Change the matter and they both agree like that for the marriage, they write down in that letter. But after getting married, both are not, not, uh, they, they both are not uh, want to uh, continue the sensual life. It's, they want to stay like a brother and sister. Okay. So, both are already think that uh, they don't want to do the, they don't, don't want to enjoy the celibate life. Sorry. They don't want to enjoy the marriage life. Marriage life. So, after that, uh, that uh, Mahakasapa, Mahakasapa have the uh, big uh, agriculture profession. But one day, seeing that the many farmers killing the insects and the uh, living being, they felt very weary. They felt that this normal life, this uh, but uh, lay life is very dangerous. But, uh, they decided to left home life to the homeless life. And uh, this uh, people, then they become a mendicants, I think. Yes, they become mendicants. Sadhu like that. And people later meet the Buddha. Then he become a monk named Kashyapa. So this uh, Mahakashyapa is uh, uh, very. Uh, this Mahakashyapa is a perfect in a Dutanga, thirteen kinds of Dutanga, ascetic practices. It is a very perfect one in that. Even uh, Mahakashyapa only wearing rag robe, ragged robe, very, very throny like that. So he only one time Lord Buddha see and uh, ask him to exchange the robe. So only one, only one monk exchanged the robe with Lord Buddha. So this uh, ascetic practices is like a uh, thirteen dutangas. It's like. Uh, Wearing a robe made from soil cloth or discarded cloth or ready-made robes offered by a householder. Then a uh, uh, three robe wearing practices type one. Only three robes in the all lifetime, not allowed on other robes. Then arms food practices. Okay. Eating only the food collected on Pindapata. Not going to the home. Or we are offered by the lay people food. Not, not allowed. Only going to the arms loud and need to eat like that. Then house to house seeker practices is there. They can't choose the uh, house for uh, their, uh, their uh, arms loud. It's, uh, they can't select uh, relations like that. The houses cannot. Then one sessional practice. One sessional means eating a one meal a day. Then another. There's a bowel food eater practice. Yes, 
eating uh, in only bowl no matter what people offer they have to eat only in that okay then uh, after that if somebody come and uh, want to offer they have to reject that is also one kind of practice then uh, forest dweller practice that is also one kind of practice that they have to not have to stay in the town or village but they have to go to the secluded places or uh, aranya this is the aranya practices they have to go to and stay in the forest then uh, tree root dweller means they have to stay in the into the under the tree only that is also one kind of practice and then another is a uh, refusing a roof or a tree roof that is another one practice open air practices like they have to go to the anywhere sometime undertake a shelter or like that or tent of rope they have to make a wall of rope and they have to sit sleep or sit there not sit sleep only sitting that's called open air dwellers practice then charnel ground so it's a cremation ground graveyard then they have to go and sleep or sit that's a they they that's their home any bed user practice not need to sleep only on the luxurious bed or like that any bed whatever they got they can, they have to sleep there and sitters practice only three postures are allowed walking standing and sitting they never lie down so this is the practices that mahakashyapa did so this very hard practice okay so one time lord buddha on the festival day on the festival day lord buddha entered into the rajagraha and accompanied by the many bhikkhus on their way but means uh, when lord buddha going that ananda din sari putta uh, other senior bhikkhu going but uh, mahakasapa always like that anywhere he is the senior but he uh, he stand in the last or somewhere okay he not concern about his seniority he is like that so uh, lord buddha enter into rajgraha for the arms round arms food on the way they met 500 boys they going to the garden you see in the image is a 500 boys somewhere it say that is a 20 boys somewhere it say it's a 500 boys but always buddha give preach and teach many monks many layman any gods so that is a big big numbers we have to take as the commentary so they all these boys are carrying the pancakes cakes so Lord Buddha asked, "Because we want to eat pancakes today." So, so everybody say yes. So they what they do? All the boys that's coming from backside, and then uh, all the monks sit in a row. So boys understand that they have to. Give the donation of the pancake, uh, some offering like that, sharing. Then because 
and all the uh, this uh, sit down the shade of tree then when uh, from the back side uh, you see that uh, mahakasapa come near to the buddha to sit down so so this boy's leader came and start to offer him but he first come to the Lord Buddha, but he not offer. Then Ananda Sariputta and another senior disciple, he not offer. But he directly goes to the Mahakashapa. Why? Because Mahakashapa, we can't say his param is greater than uh, Lord Buddha, but somewhere, because Lord Buddha not practice uh, ascetic practices. That's why Mahakashapa is <coughs> practicing this uh, 13 uh, Lutanga practice. So that's the power of his, his, his uh, Sila Dasana. That is, that's the Sila, his practice of Sila. So that boy goes and first offer to the, to the Mahakashapa. So all the bhikkhus are looking and getting a little bit angry. So, all, then, uh, then, uh, Lord Buddha say that, because, that uh, don't be get angry, because, then Lord Buddha say these words to the, Regarding to the uh, Mahakasama, that Sila Dasana Sampana, Tamma Tang Fracture Vedina, Atano Kamma Kupana, Tang Jano Puritti. Then uh, this uh, 500 uh, uh, boys offered after offering, Lord Buddha gave a discourse, Tamma Dong. After that, this all 500 boys attained Sotapanna. Fala, so tapati fala. So why Lord Buddha say that Mahakasapa is like a sila dasana sampana? That's the reason. Tamma tang sacha vedina. He is perfect in tamma. He is endowed with the dhamma. Okay. He knows the four noble truth. Yeah. Attano kamma kubbana. This Atano Kamma Kubbanan means mind our own business. That's the perfect term for that. Mind our own business. We should not look what other doing, what what other wearing, like uh, many when practicing this uh, as austerity or uh, long life. When eating time, some monks look other bow. What they got, the like or that, what they have, how much they eating, how much they not eating, like that. The bias thought comes. That's why, and the uh, Mahakasap is not like that. He he's only looking in his in his uh, bowl. It means he's he only look in his in his own life. Not interested in others' life. He's, he he mind his own business. No no, no interference in with other. That's why Attano Kamma Kupana. Tangjano Kurutepiya. Like this person who who is a whose sila is perfect, whose dhamma is perfect. He not concerned with other other people's doing. This kind of person, this characteristic, these three characteristics, those who have a person, he's, he's uh, loved and liked by devas and the human beings. That's the words Lord Buddha say in the Rajatra. So, even the Lord Buddha say about the Mahakasapa, that Mahakasapa is a, come out of the forest, 
only after 15 days like that so this is the Dhammapa story we have to learn from this that we must uh, keep the practice intact keep the sila intact then we must put ourselves into dhamma dhamma tongue means uh, that's a, a kind of jhana i think but uh, dhamma tongue means we have to put ourselves on the eight noble path that's the best meaning and the four noble truth Atanukama Kupanam means we must be concerned with our own self. We not have to find the faults with others. We don't have to be concerned with others. We should not engage with others. We must keep focused by on our own deeds, what others are doing. Okay. So this like the person, such kind of people is loved and liked by Devas and the humans. This is the short story and meaning. Okay, I hope you understand.